But I was groomed to be good life because I'm so insecure. I was a monster because um, that's all I really knew. I was a monster. I see Hey, my people, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all for liking, comment, subscribing. Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank y'all for sharing my videos. Tell everybody about my channel. I appreciate that. I thank y'all. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications so you'll be notified when I upload a video, when I go live solo, or with comedian Armani Jones. Speaking of comedian Armani Jones, subscribe to his channel, Armani, A-R-M-A-N-I, Jones. J-O-N-E-S comedy, C-O-M-E-D-Y. Get him to 2,000 subscribers, 4,200 hours of watch time. He has some great content on his channel. Make sure that y'all get his algorithm up. Also, subscribe to my channel. Um, Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, sharing the videos, telling everybody about my channel. Keep that little comment. Keep commenting on the videos. Also, make sure that you watch Laps and Libations, seasons 1 through 3, episodes 1 through 23. I appreciate it. Our money appreciates it. This is another woman to my video. To my ladies of color, I need for y'all to understand that just because the relationship ended don't mean that that man is not going to be in his child's life. If you have a dude that broke up with you and he continues to take care of his kids, don't make life hard for him. Do not make it hard for him to be a father. Do not make it hard for him to be a role model in his child's or his children's lives. Because at the end of the day, you keeping that man from his children is going to fall back on you. It's going to look bad on you. Them kids going to turn 18 one day. And they're going to ask why my daddy was not in my life. Why didn't my daddy come see me? Why my daddy this? Why my daddy that? And you, bitter woman, got to answer that question. Are you prepared to answer that hard question? If you're not prepared to answer that question, do not keep that father from the kids because the relationship did not work. That was just God's way of saying that y'all are better off as co-parents than boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife. So do not block that man from seeing and having access to his children. If he's doing everything, provide for his kids, don't be so bitter and take that man out of the kids' lives. And put him on child support. Because that's what you're doing it for. You're doing it because you're being bitter. You're being mean. You're being evil. Okay. And I'm talking about the good fathers out here. The men that want to be children. I mean, want to be fathers to their children. I'm not talking about the men that break up with you. And then leave you and the kids high and dry. Those are not the men I'm talking about. I'm talking about the men that even though that things did not work out between the two of you, he still is in his children's lives. He's still doing the things that he did when y'all were together. Do not get in the middle of that. Because that's going to be your downfall. That's going to be where you really and truly screw up royally. Use common sense. Don't put emotion into the in, into the middle of that. Because when you think with the emotion, when it comes to your kids, you mess your kids up. You mess your kids' lives up. You mentally hurt your kids. You psychologically, spiritually hurt your kids. So please make sure that you do not do anything that could potentially backfire on you because you want 
to be better towards the Father. It's not good for you. It is not good for the kids. The kids deserve to have two parents that love and care for them. And if you love your kids the way that you say that you do, you would not do anything to harm your children in any way. You would make a way to co-parent peacefully with your children's father. You would do that for your kids. So make sure that you continue to do that. Because it's in the best interest of those kids. Because you don't matter. Them kids is what matter. So continue to do right by your children. And think about your children's feelings and not yours. Because yours don't matter. Them kids' future and their feelings is what matters. If you made it to the end of my video, put co-parenting, hashtag co-parenting. Let's have a conversation about this. I know that there are some women out here, some men out here that have to co-parent. So let's have a conversation about this. But in the meantime and in between time, make sure you give me those big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber. Make sure you don't on. Share my videos. Like I always say, God, I'm going to give you one life. Y'all, please live it. Bye, y'all. I was groomed to be good life because I'm so insecure. I was a monster because um, that's all I really knew. I was a monster. I see What was that like?